So this is a interlude video where I just wanted to talk about what's going to happen um, for the rest of the series. You should have your basic mechanics working. This is a totally separate scene. I just wanted to demonstrate the ideas in a different project. Um, but your ball should be able to move and you should have some different mechanics, kill volumes and bounce volumes and whatnot. And at this point, you should try to build out a white box. And that's just a very simple representation of your level. Um, no detail, as you can see right here, it's just slopes and walls. And there's two different ways you can do it. The recommended way that you do this is to uh, download something called Pro Builder, which you can find inside of the uh, newer versions of Unity. You go to the uh, package manager, Pro Builder, you can import that. There's so many tutorials on how to use that out there. So you can look those up and um, use that to build some basic geometry. The other way is you, in what I did in the rest of the videos, which were made a while ago, you know, before Pro Builder was um, implemented into Unity, is I just went to Cube and um, you know made some basic shapes like this and stretched them out to just form the basic building blocks of our of our level, which, you know, later on you could go th go in and replace with actual geometry or art or, or you know, it's just meant for testing. Um, so, you know, all I did is I did something like this or I just built some walls and maybe some slopes and uh, filled out the level that way. I really do recommend that you try to do it with Pro Builder though, and you'll have more control. It's more, I mean, I believe it's more optimized and, um, overall, you're learning better processes. But worst case scenario, just make some basic shapes and build out the, the skeletal structure of your level. And then after, after you have your level roughed out, then you can continue with the videos. And uh, we'll talk about how to expand on, um, expand on the mechanics more and introduce some lighting and add some feedback and audio and whatnot. So I just wanted to make this quick little video to talk about that a little bit so you're not too confused and, and how I got from some simple mechanics to a fully roughed out level. Uh, just whatever you can do to have some basic spaces that you can move around in and you would be good to continue through these series.